Okay, so we gave you a reference about Snoopy and Woodstock being the little yellow canary. Yeah, that doesn't speak. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wait. Anyway, those are uh, some special people uh, that when you have questions down in orchard territory, right, it's, we're trying to lay a brand new, like it was old, ancient, and it worked really well, and it's, we're putting it back together, and like getting the gang all back together, and uh, you are not supposed to be a defense strategic nightmare of getting shit right, but that is exactly what you have been, because you bought into this espionage plan rather than the maintenance and weeding and taking care of homeland security, so... Here's what happens. We have, like, a Macintosh apple, like I showed you the other day, and a lemon. So, apples live in apple orchards. Lemons live in lemon territory. And when you catch an exotic affliction where you want to hybrid a lemon and an apple, now you make management's job really difficult. And then you open the possibility that apple's going to chalk bananas with the lemon, and then we're going to have a problem where now we got to give octum razors to, like, mm, the supermarché because they don't belong in either a basket or a bushel, and it's hard to sell them to anybody worth anything. So it's going to be a little hard hard to employ them in the future if we keep not taking care of the exotic affliction. So like we were on strychnine, which was if it looks like a, if it right, hybrided itself, it now all of a sudden becomes a lemon permanently. And then it goes into bamboo territory where we cement them into a planting box. Yeah, because we don't want the planting box to sprout roots and mess with the rest of the orchards because then that gets really so I know when uh, I was doing some research last night about you army people and uh, cross-referencing it from like ancient times and uh, this one woman uh, wrote something, I don't know, she's got some title MG, I don't know what the hell that means. So um, she said, uh, I know you grow arms and you, you know, and you pledging me a leg or a limb, like that's my vernacular from like... So, uh, in Roman talk, so she was talking about a foot locker and, uh, right, brought up for me a hurt locker because they go foot and hand and hoof and mouth and, yeah, it becomes all sorts of stuff. So, uh, my question is if she is management and her foot locker is below her of all the people she's in charge of and she puts the good people in the one foot and she puts the hurt in the hurt locker of like, oh my god, these children don't know what the hell is going on, they're going to hurt somebody, we got to keep them segregated, yeah, see, that's kind of an offshoot of my Brussels sprouts plan, but I don't quite get where you are letting lemons, apples, bananas, oranges, and Brussels sprouts all hang out in units and like like yay we're all a team no we're not we're going out into the world and we're fixing it and when you keep mixing in a supermarché like my supermarché yeah it comes with Occam's razor and like we just chop your heads off if you don't look like a Brussels sprout like bye because we know you're the enemy yeah it's kind of how we keep people safe in a homeland you stupid people keep wanting to open these supermarkets and putting all the bushels and all the baskets and shipping shit in and making like choices for the dumb people that we're trying to keep safe. So I, who gave you your Mickey Mouse Club like like lapel bling? Because I don't remember issuing you any like you know, membership, and I know we were trying to fix it back in like 1980 something, but like this Minnesota Star Twin is missing her other Minnesota Star Twin, and I got a Hollywood DOD, but I don't know, like, what's going on with him, because we don't talk DOD when I'm hanging out with DAD, and I got stalactites that come down, and stalagmites that come up, and it's really easy to tell, because it goes name to name, they always have a banana, and some of them are very, very handsome. Some of them, their moms think they're very, very handsome. So that's as much as you're getting from me because I'm not giving you opinions on what handsome looks like. I mean, that's a mother's job. But um, 
Yeah, so you can try, yeah, well, there you go. My Canary Islands have stalactites and mites, but it's not always, I mean, if that's a general rule of, of green sum, yeah, we gave you that as well. Yeah. Oh my God, all of a sudden, all these euphemisms, they actually make sense when you put them into a strategic defense plan. Like, where are we, Bo Winkle? Oh my gosh, Dumbo did have a red jacket like the moron Charles and his sons in the high castle of we're gonna fuck up everybody's orchard and kill everybody by accident by mixing them all up because we don't know how to like lead anything and we don't listen to directions because we just were too big and special so we yeah, are a certain kind of special forest right so um let's see that was a fourth go right but anyway so in Dumbo with the big gray elephant yeah <laughs> Hollywood DOD and myself, yeah, we're the big gray elephant you just can't miss when we walk in the room of like getting stuff done. Um, and then we got um Charles with his little red coat as a little mouse. Right, yeah, he was a peanut and he is gonna be a very he's got a chihuahua title compared to like the rest of the orchard managers and, and whatnot. I don't know why. Uh, we're having a problem. I mean, I'd have a problem following his plan, but that's why we made him a little red jacket about that big. Yeah, and we got Big Gray, right? And Big Gray's got Hollywood DOD, and he travels, so I don't understand why we don't get, like, ourselves a linguist cat or a Hamish or something. And I know that that scares my foot patrol locker people of, like, whoa, they know a lot of things. Yeah, usually you want management to be a little smarter than you and your people, so this way we can keep you safe, and we tell you in general territory, like, this is how we are growing our orchards and gardens, and we're, like, we're not doing supermarket, like, everybody's in one, like, department. You yeah, know, we are scattering, we're putting all the apples where the apples belong, all the oranges where the oranges belong, and then we will give you a map and you will know where to go in order to question an apple, a banana, and so on and so forth. And then, right, stalactites and stalagmites, then they have their own meetings, and then it makes management so much easier, and espionage is so much at a lower standpoint than it is right now in this 41 years of you fucked up and, like, did the complete opposite to cause so many more problems than we actually needed. 